may have cheated you a little. May have cheated you just a touch. This is a Gold's Gym lift, but not exactly the Gold's Gym. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of a beginning of the week excursion. But it doesn't change the fact that back needs to be obliterated with the specific lethality. Maybe not of a Navy SEAL team, but as close as I can get. So pull downs, pullovers, rows. And regardless of gym, back is probably one of the most versatile body parts where I mean if all if all I had was like a pull up bar that you mounted on top of uh like your doorway in your house, I'd be a little worried about like hanging too damn near two seventy pounds off of my railing, so maybe not for me. But if all I had was like a pull up bar, I think I could get a solid fucking back pump. He gave me like an elastic band too for some kind of assisted reps. Easy breezy. So that's uh that's where I'm not so picky. You know, if I'm ever gonna be kind of traveling around or whatever, going to uh like a hotel gym or something, if that day is back day, that's when I'm the most confident. Cause you can kind of do whatever. And I think I'm spoiled with back because it's kind of a stronger point for me. But if all I had was like an adjustable set of cables or even just a dumbbell you know, sets from like five to not even that heavy, 70, five to 50, I could still get a pretty crazy row based, uh, like squeezing lift without you know, too many different movements. Now there's certainly a fucking uh, necessity to hit your back from top to bottom. I'm talking lats, traps, rhomboids, everything else in between. But that doesn't mean you do need to do a million movements. I, um, I'll get a little, uh, not annoyed, but kind of curious. Because I'll get comments where it's like, Sam, you only, did, you only did three movements on your back day. All you did was pull downs, pull overs, and then like a set of uh, just regular rows. Like, what the hell, man? Is that enough? And from my perspective considering the back pump that I'm going to have from you know, that kind of simple lift. Yeah, there's no, uh, I don't think the benefit from trying to do six different movements is going to do you any good. And honestly, I think it's, uh, for the most part, for most lifters, it just ends up being a waste of time because I think it's not so generally taught that like once you're warm, once you've done a couple of working sets, you don't have to warm up again. You can just move on to reasonably close to your working weight on like pull downs to rows to pullovers to whatever. So if you've got six movements and every single fucking movement, all you end up doing is two feeler sets before you actually do a real working set or you just pyramid up like three times. I mean, how much fluff junk do you just waste? I, uh, I see a lot of sets like that where I'm just, you know, it's like, what are you thinking? And I'm not saying that in a mean way. I mean, we've all been there. I've had back days where it was like, okay, I'm going to do pullovers, five sets, pull downs, five sets, rows, five sets, assisted pull ups, five sets. And like, I would do the same thing. You do a light set in the beginning, and then you gradually get heavier. You kind of pyramid up like 15 reps, 12, 10, 8. But I think the real fucking meat and potatoes is in that eight rep set, the heavy one at the end. All the kind of just warming up kind of. Like going around, uh, beating around the bush with the weight. I don't think it does you anything, you know? So once I'm warm, once I've done my, you know, kind of cable warm up and everything, and then I do like set number one with a working weight for rows or pull downs or whatever, I'm in the zone. So now if I move on to a lap pullover machine or a pull down machine or some kind of fancy whatever else in between, I don't need to do too much feeler work before I actually get into the working set. Now, that does not mean, okay, I did a set of uh, lat pullovers with 50 pounds. That means I'm ready to do cable uh, or bent over barbell rows with three plates with no warm up. Like obviously ease into it, expose yourself to the weight at a, uh, you know, at a reasonable pace so that you're ready for it. But you know, just try not to waste your time. Apart from when I walk into the gym and I grab some cable stack and I just start doing some, kind of some, well, just warming up. Once that's over, the only thing that I want to reach, at least kind of fatigue-wise, at the end of each set that I end up doing, is 
failure to some degree, right? Either physically, like if I just can't fucking lift whatever weight I'm doing, or mentally, like if I'm doing a set of pulldowns or, uh, or pullovers, light squeezing, and I feel like my lats are like on fucking fire and I can't do another rep. So anything less than that, I usually would say try to avoid it. But no point chatting any further. Let's, uh, let's just fucking get started. A lot of machines to pick from. Let's start to keep it simple with the regular pull downs. Yeah. 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 One more. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm not done. I'm just gonna make this set rest pause. So really that's just basically a push failure. Wait 10 seconds to do it again. It's all intensify it though. Oh. Oh, let's move on. Not sure what to, but I'm not joking. I feel like I've got every fucking machine ever made in here at my disposal. I'm a little worried this fucking fifth plate is going to bounce off. But this is a machine where I'm pretty strong in the movement. So that even though this is heavy, it's still weight within a reason. Like these aren't going to be nasty reps, All right? They're going to be. Nice and controlled, because I really do want to get a crazy trap squeeze. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Left side first. Yeah. 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 Might be too heavy. Let's drop that to four plates. This was like probably on the cusp of too much. Ugh! <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Time to move on again. Sometimes I end up doing two sets of something, then migrate. This will be perfect for single arm. Kind of half pull down, half row, because it's at like a 45 degree angle. But this is a nice machine. My, uh, my school's gym used to have one of these, but then they got rid of it for whatever reason. Not an awesome move on their part, but at least luckily enough, I get to use it now. So this will be clean squeezing, but as I approach failure, I don't mind throwing this shit around. Now I just need to find a good song to couple with it. Yeah. 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 Okay. You get too fucking strong, man. This stack isn't heavy enough. Yes. I need like an extra hundred pounds on this stack. Good set. Don't necessarily want to repeat it. Let's uh pick something else. I'm not sure what's next, but we're getting close to done. Probably a row or something. I almost didn't recognize this machine, but I love this thing. So let's go nuts. Come on. One more something. Ooh. 
This is the oldest school pull down I've ever seen in my life. No plate numbers, no weights, just pure fucking steel. And even though this thing is probably double my age, oh, it says 1900, it's not from the 1900s, but even though this thing's fucking old, man, dude, if, you, if your gym is full of plastic shit, oh my God, not ideal, not freaking ideal. But let's get some alternating pullovers and find some lighting. No. Let's find some lighting. Let's find some freaking lighting. All right, so we've got a goddamn posse of energy with today's back day. It was nuts. I'm talking four plates were being benched, three plates, and uh, I think it was three to 35, so like 385 for like sets of five. I would like to think that I played a role into getting some of that uh, some of that hype train moving, but let's uh, let's see what kind of back pump we're looking like. Now, usually middle of the gym, pose down, whatever, whatever. Oh, goodness. That same thing for the back. Oh, why the shit? I was kind of a, I was thinking about trying to rally everybody to do a group pose down, but I don't want to stop everybody to lift. So let's get in the car. <laughs> 